Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh's YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create this type of connection in Tecla structures with this example. Okay, let's start. Open Tecla structures with Indian environment. Now I'm going to create pipe here. So click on steel and select this beam and click on here first point and click on here second point to create beam like this. In our example, we have two pipes, rectangular halo sections, 100 by 200 by 4 thick on both sides. These two pipes are connected with this type of connection. You can see now we have these plates. We have two plates and this is the connection plate like this in top view. You can see. Now I'm going to create this type of connection. Before that, we need to change the profile of this section. So double click on this beam and we need to create rectangular halo section. So click on here. Minimize this eye profile and we require rectangular halo section RHS. You can see click on here plus symbol. Let's take RHS and we need to change the type here. Let's take HBT and we have height 100 millimeter and width 200 millimeter and thickness 4 millimeter. You can see in our example 100, 200 and 4. So we need to take 100, 200 and 4 thick. Now click on apply OK. Now click on modify to see the result. Now I'm going to change the color, so click on here, let's take class 2, now click on modify, you'll get like this. Now close this window, now I'm going to split this beam into two parts, so click on edit and select this split and select this beam and pick the position at middle. Right click on mouse interrupt, click on space, right click on mouse UW. Use the shortcut control 4 for render view. Now I'm going to create connection between these two pipes, so go to application compress by using the shortcut control F. In search bar, type number 6 and scroll it down. You will get this component, tube splice 6 number component. So select this component and pick the main part as a left beam and pick the second part as a right beam. Right click on mouse interrupt and close this window here. Click on space, right click on mouse redraw. You can see by default we have connection like this. Now I am going to edit this connection as per our design information like this. So Use the shortcut shift 4 for render view for component. Now double click on this connection to edit. Now drag and place it here and pan it in this side. Now close this window. Now I'm going to pick the rotation point. So use the shortcut control R and pick the rotation point here. And use the control and mouse middle button to rotate easily like this. Right click on mouse interrupt. Now double click on this connection to edit. You can see in this option we have the gap between these two plates this these two are splice plates you can see now we have gap between these two plates in our example we have gap here 10 millimeters so enter here 10 and click on modify you can see now this gap should be 10 millimeter now coming to this gap this option from edge of this end plate to this plate gap in our example we have 20 millimeter so we need to enter here 20 and projection we have 150 millimeter so by default we have 150 so keep it now click on modify to see the result you can see now this gap should be 20 millimeter and projection should be 150 millimeter now coming to this option this option indicates the clearance between this pipe to pipe slot to this plate we need to maintain to insert this plate in, inside of this pipe so in our example we have clearance here two millimeter so you can see now gap should be two millimeter between plate to this slot of this pipe so enter here two millimeter now click on modify to see the result and zoom it here you can see now this clearance should be two millimeter around this plate now click on this parts tab in parts you can control this plate thickness of all plates for example you can see splice plate splice plate indicates the this plate and this right side of this this plate so you can control this plate thickness from you can see in our example we have plate thickness 10 millimeters so enter here 10 now click on modify to see the result you can see now this plate thickness should be 10 millimeter now coming to this connection plate this top of this splice plate and bottom of this splice plate we have two connection plates top of this one and the bottom of this plate these two are connection plates so in our example we have connection plate thickness 
8 millimeter so enter here 8 now click on modify to see the result you can see now this thickness should be 8 millimeter if you want to increase you can increase from here as per your design for example let's take uh, 12 millimeter click on modify you can see now this thickness should be 12 millimeter as per our design currently we have 8 millimeter thickness so enter here 8 now click on modify it now coming to this end plate you can control this end plate thickness from this option in our example we have end plate thickness 8 millimeter so enter here 8 now click on modify it you can see now this thickness should be 8 millimeter okay now click on this bolts tab in bolts you can control this bolt size and bolt spacing in our example we have bolt size in this top view you can see 16 dia bolt so enter here 16 dia bolt and tallest by default we're going to take 2 millimeter but bolt standard as per your design you can change from this list currently we are taking default 8.8 x x o x okay now coming to this bolt spacing here click on modify it now coming to bolt spacing you can control this bolt spacing at here in the width wise and length wise this yellow color indicates the plates connection splice plates so in width wise you can see this is the width of this plate in our example we have this plate width like this we have edge distance from in the width wise 50 millimeter from bolt to edge of this plate this spacing so enter here 50 and here also 50 now coming to number of bolts in width side you can see this is the width of this plate in width the direction in this direction we have number of bolts one and this two two rows so enter here two and spacing between the bolts we have 150 millimeters so enter here 150 click on modify to see the result you can see now this spacing between these two bolts should be 150 from this option and two indicates number of bolts one and two in width wise and edge distance 50 millimeter from bolt to edge of this plate now coming to the lengthwise direction you can control from here in the lengthwise direction you can see now how from edge of this plate to first bolt distance 50 on this side also from edge of this plate to this bolt distance 50 so you need to enter here 50 this symbol indicates the both edge distance should be same so enter here 50 and now coming to number of bolts in this plate we have one and two so you need to enter here two and spacing we have 100 millimeter from this bolt to this bolt so enter here 100 now click on mod to see the result you can see now this spacing between these two bolts should be 100 millimeter like this by default this plate will be placed at the middle of this pipe if you want to offset this plate you can enter the value here to offset in widthwise and enter here value for lengthwise okay by default we are going to place this at the exactly middle like this now coming to this spacing uh, from edge of this pipe to this plate spacing in our example uh, we have three millimeter you can see three millimeter clearance between this pipe to edge of this end plate so click on this end plate tab and we need to enter here three millimeter all round and click on modify it you can see now this clearance should be three millimeter now coming to this plate use the shortcut shift to two and close this window modify apply ok and click on space right click on mouse read review and use the shortcut shift to two you can see now we have single plate here this is only the one plate single plate throughout this plate so we need to split this plate into two parts end plate so double click on this component once again now click on this option and we need to select this option two end plates instead of using single plate so select this option now click on modify it you can see now we have two plates top plate and bottom plate in our example you can see now have this this is the one plate and the bottom is the another plate similarly like this so click on modify apply ok now click on space right click on mouse dw ok you will get like this ok that's it about how to create this type of connection in tecla structures with this example if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tecla structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tecla structure related videos i hope this video might be helpful to you 
and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you